I'm an avid Obsidian user, I tried using Remnote, I don't like Remnote, and I'm going to share a video why I don't like Remnote and why I use Obsidian instead. First point, when I come into Remnote, you can see I've got the sidebar on the left side, that's great, and I can make it bigger or smaller, but I've got nothing on the right side. So even when I go into the Today's Note, there's nothing on the right side, so I can't add more panels, I can't add other panes, unlike in Obsidian, where you can have multiple pages up, move panes around, and change the workspaces, and then you can also save those workspaces, which obviously you can't do in Remnote, because there's no new workspace to make, which is obviously an advantage for Obsidian. You can see on the page I've got lots of blocks, but in Remnote they're called rems, so the block is a rem, a page is a doc, and a folder is actually a page with docs in it. Right, uh, so this is a doc, a page, inside of a folder, which is February, which is actually a page, uh, and then we have all of the rems, so we've got header 1, 2, and 3, in Obsidian there's 6, uh, you've got the highlighted block, or rem. Uh, in Obsidian you can't do this, but why you'd need to highlight the whole block I don't really know. Uh, for me I would be highlighting the word, which you can also do, so if you highlight in there you can then see we can highlight, where is it? There it is, highlight the word, let's highlight a different color. So you saw there that there are different colors in Remnote, in Obsidian you just have whatever the highlight is, which I don't really see the point of having multiple highlights in, in, my, in my mind, because highlights aren't that useful anyway. Everything in Remnote is a bullet point, and like you would have seen in my LogSeq review, I don't like loads of bullet points. I want to choose whether it is or isn't a bullet point, but everything's a bullet point. You can then embed bullet points. This is actually flashcards, which you don't have in Obsidian, but I don't like flashcards. There's loads of reasons and philosophies behind that, but I won't get into uh, into all of the philosophy now. But yeah, I don't like flashcards, but you can do them in Remnote. You can't do it in Obsidian. Uh, and you can embed, so you can tab things across underneath. So if I come into here, I can tab that across, or I can shift tab it back just like you would in Obsidian. Then there are the numbered lists, which again is exactly the same in Obsidian. The pages in Remnote you can kind of like unfold so you can see what's in the page. So that's in this page or this doc. Uh, in Obsidian you have the page preview, which is very similar. You don't have the page preview, but when you go in, here's the page, there's the breadcrumb, and you can go back and forwards. In Obsidian I would just open up in two pages so I can see them both at the same time. That's my personal preference. Oh, look at that. See, didn't even go back to the note. There it is. Um, and in here you can see I've got the embed there, and the embed is showing in this little preview, even though it's not folded, which I don't personally like, because if it's a page, I don't want to see what's in the page, like, at, like right in front of me. I'd much rather have to go into the page or try and have a look. So you can see in here, we've got sources. Now inside of Obsidian, you could, you would add these as tags or add them as a template or anything like that. Again, templates in Remnote, pro feature, don't get it, but hey ho. Um, so we can add sources, I would just add a link, and you can add tags, and again in Obsidian you just add tags like you would any other tag. As I carry on scrolling down you can see this is blue, this is the page preview, but when I actually go to try and view it, it doesn't work, I'm guessing that's a bug, um, but in Obsidian that works. Uh, this is a backlink to a page, so this is my daily page, it's a folder but it's a page, uh, and it's linked to psychology, which is also a page, which is over here. And you can see in the sidebar, we've got pinned, which is basically the star panel in Obsidian. We've got drafts, which is a type of page that you're working on, which to me, I, I don't really see the point in having uh, finished and drafts. That's just a way of categorizing pages, which you could do in tags, or you could do in folders, or literally any other um, uh higher level categorization. So my psychology page is in my finished pages because I've decided to make it finished, even though it's not. Um, and you can do that by changing it over here, change the status to draft, finished or pinned. Not really seeing a use for that. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know in the comment section below if I am. When I scroll down to the bottom of this psychology page, I can now see the references. So this works very similar to uh, Rome Research, and it's not the same as Obsidian. Obsidian is on the side panel, so I can actually see the references when I come in. I can see the back backlinks however I want. Now when I go into these backlinks, um, I can click in and then fold them shut. It's kind of like, I, I don't like that UI, and this is hard to see. Maybe it's my screen, but this is hard to see. I'd have to actually look at it, whereas in Obsidian, it's obvious there. I mean, yes, I've got CSS to change that, but it's obvious in there. Uh, when I come into here I've got two two sorting options that's that's it in obsidian there are more sorting options and you can actually search through the things that you've referenced as well so that's another advantage now a very quick point on the flashcards obsidian doesn't have them so there's no point comparing them but from my experience of remnotes flashcards they're very easy to add into the page and they're very useful to go through it's just I don't see the point in flashcards my personal opinion when you're in the page and you have a look down, you've got the practice rem, which are the, essentially the flashcards, they're the blocks, uh, but there's also find and filter, so you have the normal find, replace, and filter things, which again, you have in Obsidian, so no real difference there. 
Now back to my daily note, you can see I've got a to-do tag. Now, I, do, I, I don't personally put my tasks in my note manager because my note manager most of the time doesn't have recurring tasks, doesn't sync with my calendar, and doesn't have all the other flexibility that I'd want with a task manager. So yes, I could put tasks in RemNote, but it wouldn't be as good as Todoist, which is what I use my tasks for. Can I put tick boxes in Obsidian? Yes. Can I tag them with to-do? Yes. Will they show on that page? Yes. Uh, will it show exactly the same as this with the preview? No, unless I do a block reference, which again, it works but why would I want to do that if I have a task manager that I have on my phone anyway? On that point, yes, Remno is cloud-based, not local-based, so you can have it on your phone, assuming you have internet connection. And yes, there is a downloadable app you can use for Remnote on your computer. It didn't work for me to start with because I couldn't be asked to faff around with something that I'm not going to use. Hey, just being honest. But Obsidian has a mobile app, has a desktop app, and you can move things around all over the place using Sync if you want to, or you could just store them on an external hard drive, which is what I do. So if I'm using my laptop, I'll take my external hard drive with me and just plug that into my laptop. If I'm using my PC, like I am now, then I'll have the external hard drive plugged into the PC. I do have Sync for my phone, but that's personal preference. If you don't want Sync for your phone, then don't use it. Now I've brought up the pricing plan for Remnote. Now Obsidian, you can support them by, I think it's £25 uh, for a, a Catalyst license, which basically gives you access to all the beta stuff, which is just a one-time fee, that's it. Uh, and then you can support them more, but that's personal preference. It can just be free. Then you have the sync, which again, I, I shared my uh, my personal opinions on that. That's $8. So it's actually more expensive than the Pro, but you don't need sync at all. Uh, lifelong learning is just really expensive. I personally wouldn't use that, but hey-ho, you can if you want to support them. And then Obsidian also has Obsidian Publish, which you pay for, which I personally do because if you want to see my notes, you can, but I don't share all of my notes. They are the pay plans for Obsidian, and the pay plans for Remno actually affect the ability to use it, whereas Obsidian, you're just supporting them if you want, sharing your notes online if you want, and syncing devices, which again, you don't really need to do. So going down the features, power hierarchical editor, I'm assuming that's just folders and files, which yes, like every notes app has. So yes, Obsidian has that linked writing and Zettelkasten. I've done a video about Zettelkasten and the philosophy behind systems theory. So I'm interested to see what they mean by Zettelkasten. I assume that's just backlinks, which I mean, even Notion has that and I wouldn't class Notion as a very good Zettelkasten tool, but hey ho. Yep, Obsidian's got that. Integrated space repetition flashcards. Again, I've already gone over that. Obsidian doesn't have flashcards or space repetition so yes it has this over obsidian great knowledge management that's extremely subjective so yes obsidian has that so does google keep <laughs> uh linked to zettelcast and mm, already gone through that a little bit but backlinks references and tags obsidian has those portals i'm assuming that's search portals yes obsidian has that filters obsidian has that graphs and view mm. Okay, you don't have that, Remno, unless you're paying for it. Obsidian, yes, you have that. Uh, aliases, you have that in Obsidian. You don't have it in Remno unless you're paying for it. Search portals, I'm not really sure what it means by search portals. I'm assuming there's advanced searches, but you don't really need any more advanced searches in Obsidian because you can reject or add and and or and... There are loads of other searches in Obsidian, so I'm not sure how this benefits you. Maybe Remnote users, you could let me know in the comments how this is different. Space repetition seems like a little bit of a repeated feature, but yeah, there are flashcards, which I think was in the basics up here. Yep, there's the flashcards. Uh, close, fill in the gaps. I mentioned this in LogSick. It's a nice block. It's an interesting block. It's an interesting use, use case, but I don't see the point unless you're going to use flashcards, which again, I don't use. So again, not needed for me, but maybe useful for you. Anki, import and export. I don't use flashcards, so it's great that you have it, but you can do that in Obsidian as well. Image occlusion you need to pay for, advanced spacing algorithms, access, yeah, so all of this is like space repetition flashcards, Obsidian doesn't have that, but I'm sure there are plugins that can use that, I personally don't use it, so I haven't explored, have a look on the community plugins if you do want to use that in Obsidian, but again, not my personal preference. Knowledge management, dates and to-dos. Yes, you can do that in Obsidian. You can put dates in, you can put to-dos in, you can format the dates however you want in each page and in individual notes and wherever you want. Uh, and you can do that inside of Remnote. But like I said, I would put my to-dos and my actual tasks in Todoist rather than my note-taking uh, app. PDF uploads and highlights. You can't do that in Remnote, but you can in Obsidian because it's local stores. So I have my PDFs locally stored in my Obsidian vault and then I just access them through a link and then the highlights are I export through Zotero and put them into my note in, in my Notion page. Oops, in my Obsidian page. Uh so yeah, I don't have to pay for that because it's automatic. And I've got a system with Zotero that allows me to export the highlights from each PDF and then just put them as a markdown file as a note in Obsidian. So again, all of that is free. 
templates you need to pay for but obsidian you have unlimited templates because they are just pages and again you don't have to pay for it it's a core plugin automations and power-ups you have to pay for them now my exploration i couldn't find any power-ups that were useful apart from the things that you automatically get in obsidian which i've already mentioned in the video so yeah you have to pay for those but again don't see why uh, custom date formatting you don't get that in remnote but you do uh, for the pro but in obsidian you just change the formatting of the, the type of the text or you just put date and then colon whatever the format you want it to be and you can change that in the core plugins community plugins and the daily notes it's entirely up to you so you don't have to pay for that that's all free mobile app obsidian has it remnote has it desktop app obsidian has it remnote has it well you can't really use obsidian without the app so yeah you need it uh private local storage so that's literally what obsidian is it's only local files so yes obsidian has that uh remnote clipper obsidian doesn't have a clipper but it's because it's not cloud-based and i personally don't use a clipper because only think the only thing i'm going to clip is a paper which goes to my zotero any articles or videos that i'm consuming all i need is the link which i just do a quick copy link address and then put it into the the page in my obsidian trash history obsidian has that you need to pay for that in remnote daily cloud backups well you need to pay for that in remnote and all you'd need to do in obsidian is if you have sync just use the different sync files you have or you can save it in anywhere that you have cloud storage so that could be google drive OneDrive, any other cloud storage system that you're currently using uh, and then priority support well the priority support yes you can pay for that in obsidian like it, you get more support in the catalyst license but you really don't need it because the obsidian community give you all the answers you could ever need plus obviously you've got youtube to have a look at and then there's a forum as well which is free now remnote do have a community not as big or as um active as obsidian but i think that's because of the amount of users but yeah so priority support you could pay for that for remnote but you could just go into the obsidian forum and, and get that for free Data ownership and sharing, you get the import and export options, again in Obsidian you're completely in control of everything that you do. Public sharing, Obsidian you can do that but it has to be Obsidian published so you're paying for that and it's not the same, you don't have flexibility so Remnote does have better public sharing but when I'm working on my notes I don't want to be publicly sharing all of my notes with everyone unless I'm collaborating with them in which case I want a collaboration tool, something like Notion. Collaboration is coming soon. Now, I personally would be using Notion if I'm going to be doing any collaboration, but hey ho, that's my preference, and we're not we're not comparing Notion in this video. Uh, but yeah, Obsidian's collaboration is not very good unless you're going to let people into your vault, which again, privacy. Not really sure about that one. If you're working with just one other person, you could do it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, then you have expanded file uploading. I'm not really sure what that means, but when you're uploading files in Obsidian, all you need is like any file format and just link it because it's your local file. So I have my Excel files, my Word files, uh, any other files on my computer. I just put a link in my Obsidian, so I can actually search for my Excel documents in Obsidian rather than having to go in my file explorer. Because, ugh, ugh, Windows file explorer is just disgusting. So I actually have my Excel files inside my page in Obsidian. So I just search my Obsidian and then click on the file and it opens it up for me. And then when I'm exporting information from Obsidian as a Word file, I use Pandoc as a plugin and there you go, there's my Word file. And I may do a video about how I'm using all of those uh, in my writing and that may be coming soon, we don't know. Customization, there are custom themes, there are custom themes in Obsidian and you can make your own. I've made my own. Yes, you need to understand CSS, but you could just use someone else's theme and then just adjust the little bits because they're, they're files stored on your computer. All you need is very, very, very basic understanding of CSS because I don't understand CSS very well, but I managed to make the theme that you're probably seeing on the screen share. API and front end plugins. I know it's on the Obsidian roadmap for them to do the API that actually makes it an application because at the moment Obsidian is still technically a beta application. It's not an application. I think it's uh, 0.13.26 at the time of me recording this. So it's not actually an app and the API is what's going to make it an actual like first version app. So it isn't in Obsidian. It is something they're going to work on, but I mean, it works fine as it is and I don't really need any more API integrations. Most integrations that you would need or use, you could use an iframe for if you really need it but note management you don't need it in your notes in my personal opinion but and then custom hotkeys which is literally what i use every single day like every single action in my obsidian is a hotkey is a custom hotkey that i will change and chop uh, and you have to pay for that in remnote which i'm just like mind blown don't get it that's how they've decided to do it and yeah i i would prefer obsidian now something else i want to add before the video closes out is obsidian has audio recording so you can audio record yourself so if you want to take a voice memo which i do i take a voice memo on my phone it goes into my notes and syncs straight to my computer i can't find a way to do that on remnote 
at all, then obviously all of the other aspects of the core plugins and community plugins that Obsidian have, most of them are not in Remnote for some reason. There isn't even an outline plugin in Remnote for what I can see, and I use outline all the time. So yeah, there are other things in Obsidian, the core plugins and community plugins that I shared in this video, wherever it is, uh, for you to have a look, which Remnote doesn't seem to have yet, but I assume they're going to be developing it and going, but is, it is a nice tool, it is a useful tool, just not my personal tool of choice, if you couldn't tell by the bias review.